We will explain the purpose of this lab. You will be separating two unknown compounds that are mixed into your sample. The compounds that you will be separating depend on your assigned scenario. The scenarios are explained in your lab binder, and you should review pages 131 through 133 in PDS to create your flowcharts. You need to prepare all four possible scenarios before lab. Each one involves the separation of two compounds. Be very detailed and make sure you understand your flowcharts beforehand. You will be working with four possible solvents, MTBE, a nonpolar ether, aqueous NaOH, sodium hydroxide dissolved in water, aqueous NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate dissolved in water, and aqueous HCl, hydrochloric acid dissolved in water. Analyze your assigned scenario to decide which combination of the four extraction solvents fit your scenario best. Typically, you will want to select the extraction solvent so that one compound will become charged. It will then move into the more polar water layer, whereas the other compound will remain neutral and stay in the ether layer. That way, you will be able to separate one compound from the other. How does a compound become charged? Well, if a compound contains a nitrogen atom, you can usually add an acid and it will pick up a proton or H plus ion and become positively charged. The resulting cation will then dissolve in water. If the compound contains an OH group attached to a carbon, sometimes the addition of a base can remove a proton from the OH group, leaving behind a negative charge. The resulting anion will then dissolve in water. If the OH group is attached to a carbonyl or C double bond O group, then it is very easy to remove the proton using any base. However, if the OH group is attached to an area containing C double bond C bonds, it is much more difficult to remove the proton, and a stronger base must be used. These properties will help you determine which solvents to use to separate the compounds. Once you have the two compounds separated, there are still purification steps remaining. You don't want the charged form of these compounds, nor do you want them dissolved in water. You want the original, uncharged forms without any water around. To get rid of the charge, you will need to undo the change you brought about earlier. Add an acid to put back on a proton and get rid of a negative charge. Or add a base to remove a proton and get rid of a positive charge. You can get rid of water by adding TBME because once the charge is removed, the neutral compound will dissolve in TBME again rather than water. Check your chosen method with your professor, then set up to the actual lab. Be sure to use the microscale setup. The setup is very similar to the liquid-liquid extraction lab.